We use machine learning to identify crop from weeds and we use a chemical approach, an organic chemical approach to shoot the weeds out so we don't hurt the crop as well. Um, we are using a chemical approach because it gives us a multi-action tool with our machine as well. So as we're spraying weeds, we can also be doing other things at the same time as well because of our machine learning. The same approach that we're using to spray the weeds out, we could also use to apply micro doses of fertilizer or plant growth hormone or things like that as well at the same time. The main area that we're, we're diving into is organic vegetable crops. We don't have an acreage problem with feeding the world. What we have is an ability to scale problem. We don't have enough labor guys to hand weed the fields that we have to be able to scale on an organic level that we'd like to. So what our machine is doing is it's going to mitigate those issues as well as give the growers here in not just the United States, but across the world, the opportunity to scale and scale efficiently with our machine. Fear was huge. It was, it brought a lot of people together that didn't realize that we had the technology going that we have. Just this event alone has grown from myself in Imperial County, where we're going to be next week. Uh, another five to six contacts that we could get out and just show showcase our machine to. Where this gave a place where farmers and industrial leaders could all come together and meet and finally start to collab with like, hey, this is what we have and this is what we have to create value for your company. And I think that's huge. Anytime you could get both sides of the aisle together and bring them together, that's when you start seeing change. That's when industries start to see change and that's how we start to get the change that we feel our machine could bring to the world. Mm -hmm.